In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Dollar Tree's new item, the ceramic books, in three different ways. I absolutely love how these turned out, so let's jump in. Hello, my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here spending some time with me today. I am going to be showing you how to decorate and DIY these beautiful ceramic books these are new at dollar tree because i have never seen these before if you've seen them though do let me know in the comments below because you know sometimes different dollar trees could have different things but they are new to me and i thought that they were super cool to make for halloween decor different types of styles they do have different covers on each of the books i did grab one of each and i'm just going to show you here how to give you you know give you some ideas on how to diy them i did take this beautiful green paint for the first book i really love how it looks with that semi gloss i think it looks really nice then I'm just going to go in with some brown paint. I did add water to the paint because it was running out. And um, I just kind of want a little brown wash to the pages to make it look old. So I did do that and then I ended up wiping it with a paper towel. So that way it can just take off any excess and make it look washed up and old. So now I'm just going in with my finger because it's just a small part. I took a little piece of fabric from a big piece of fabric that you can usually find at Dollar Tree. I just wanted this little skeleton guy, the skull here, to place on the spine of the book. I thought that would be a really nice add and to give it some contrast in between the two greens. So I really like it there and then I am going to add more Mod Podge on the top so that way it can really seal it in and now i'm going in with these really awesome rub on transfers from dollar tree they have out some new ones this year and i think they are super cute and really nice i picked up two different packs i'm going to use this first pack here to add this spooky little cat onto the front where the label goes on the book so i'm going to add the cat right there all you have to do is scratch it with either your fingernail or just a straight edge of something and then all you have to do is peel that plastic up and it should stick right down for you really nicely and I really like how that looks there and then I'm gonna add a snake onto the side of the book onto the spine because I thought that would be really cute there just to add some spooky additions to the side as well and you always want to make sure that you rub it after it's down that way all of the edges and sides could be nice and down because sometimes they can be a little bit peeled from the surface so now i'm going to go in with this paint marker in gold because i want to trace over all of those embellishments and make them really pop and stand out and this is going to make the book look really beautiful and i really love how this looks in the end you can't really tell that the gold is going on um right here but once i keep going over it and once you see it in the end you will notice and it will look absolutely gorgeous so i'm just gonna keep going around and then i even do the little dots that are around the um cat as you see here and i think it's turning out absolutely gorgeous i think it's so nice whenever you trace over the lines because it just makes it pop and really stand out now i'm going to go in with a black marker because i want to go around the middle um embellishments here where the cat is and i want to really make that stand out as well using the black marker and then i even go in around the whole entire oval itself and you will see that in the end now i'm just adding some little spooky spiders with some hot glue i just clipped this off of a ribbon um they do have these spider ribbons in dollar tree and i like to clip them off one by one or however much i need to just add them here and there and now i'm just going in with some final touches of adding a little some more rub on transfers of bats because there is a bat on the front of the book so I thought that would be a really nice addition to the side and here is book number one my friends I really love how it turned out I think it turned out super cute and spooky you would have to let me know if you liked how this turned out and if you would give this a try moving on to the second book 
This one has a eye in the middle with some shooting sparkles and a nice big space for a title. I'm going to go in this time using this beautiful orange paint. I do love this paint because when it dries, it gets a little bit darker than what it looks like. And I really do like that. So I'm going to paint the entire book. And my friends, I know this video is using all of the same items which is the ceramic book but they are all a little bit different with um the fronts and how they look but i did want to show you how to you know diy them in three different ways so that is why this video is using all of the same item and i hope you that you like this idea just to you know get some ideas on how to use the same book in three different ways and you know stuff like that but anyway now i'm gonna go in with my hot glue gun because for the title i want to write spells and this is a great way to get something on here if you don't have sticker letters or um a specific thing to place down you can just use your hot glue gun and one thing i like about this as well is since this is a halloween diy it will look rustic and spooky and old with the hot glue gun so i did like that i'm just gonna go in and just go one by one writing the letters and once i am done i am gonna let that dry really well because i do want to paint over it with the same orange paint so that way it can be nice and blended in to the entire book and with the paint it's not only going to make it blend in but it's also going to seal in that glue even more when that paint dries so that is a good addition once that paint is nice and dry i am going to go in with a paint marker because i want that spells word to pop out and so i'm going to trace over the top of it using a black marker and you can use whatever color that you would like of course i just chose black for this one and i'm just going to trace over each and every letter and then i am going to even trace over the little embellishments that are around the eye and the eye itself using black and gold and if you didn't have paint markers you can definitely use gold paint and black paint or whatever colors you wanted for the embellishments it would look just as good once i am done doing all of that i don't know if you can see here the little circle inside of the eye for the color i'm just gonna do it in the gold but you can do it a different color maybe blue even black to look spooky i just decided to do the gold then i'm gonna add a robot transfer to the back of this book because i thought it would be really cute to have the little cauldron with the kitty there and the broomstick because this is the spell book so you can make like the little spells or potions with the cauldron so i thought that would be really nice on the back so i just scratched that on there and you guys if you are enjoying this video so far do go ahead right now and give it a big thumbs up for me because that really does help my channel and to help me reach new viewers and i really do appreciate it my friend we have to continue to grow our community and get our community to 4k subscribers we just hit 3,000, and i am super happy and couldn't be more grateful for each and every one of you i really do appreciate you so much for your continued support and love and all your kind words you don't know how much it means to me really now I'm just going in with some pumpkins on the spine of the book because I thought that would be super cute. Just the three pumpkins right there or jack-o'-lanterns. And then I'm going to add this spooky bat onto the top of the spine. But I want it to fold over so that it almost looks 3D-ish and it's going towards the back as well. You can see here I fold it over the wing. And once we peel it up, it's going to look really cool. And as I said, a sort of 3D-ish kind of look, which is really cute. So I'm just going to um, rub it down afterwards to make sure all of the sides are down. And you can see just how pretty this is turning out. Now I'm just going in with those pages. For this one, I didn't want it too dark, so that is why it looks a bit lighter. 
I am just gonna go in the same way and I'm even still going to wipe it off with a paper towel so that it just looks like a little wash and that is it for this book you can continue on if you want it but i absolutely love how it turned out i just went over the title around the title where it says spells as you can see with the black marker and added a little spider and i love it it is super cute let me know what you think of book number two now it is time for a coffee break my friends because you know i love my iced coffee <laughs> only except this is not a coffee this is a candle and you guys look how beautiful this candle is even the little ice cubes in there it is super cute and it smells super yummy too i really do love this and if this didn't catch your attention wait till you see the next candle Thank you so much to Ocans for sponsoring today's video or Ocans. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, um, but here is the box that it came in and here is their information. This is their a look at their website. They have a ton of different candles. You can even customize your own candles and make your own candles to sell on their website, I believe, is what it says here. Um make money with your creativity and then if we go to the top columns we can see all of their candles that they sell already here they have some um a, a ton of different candles you guys uh ones in jars the candle sticks and they even have the ones that i received as well which are the more um you know decor type of candles they even have candle making kits which is awesome and you can see their candles here they have an angel candle a sunflower candle now take a look at this second candle how pretty is she this cute little cake candle i think it is so amazing all of the detail on it is very pretty and it smells so good and you guys you guys are going to get 15 percent off using my code because you know i always have to look out for you guys so 15 percent off of your candles go check them out now because these are absolutely amazing and you already know the link will be in my description box below moving on to the third book i already painted this because you already know the deal by now um we're giving it a nice coat of paint this one is in black and you can see here i did start to sand it down already i'm just gonna take my sand block and sand down over those embellishments of the spider webs because i thought it would be super cute and a neat idea if we just sand over it to get that white to come back through and it could really look like spider webs and really nice so i thought that was super cute i am just going to continue to sand down as much as i think it needs it and then i will dust that off and i decided to give this one a coat of mod podge just to really seal in all of that paint and you know the cracks from where we sanded and to make sure that it doesn't continue chipping so i i put a layer of mod podge you can definitely add the layer of mod podge to all of the books just to really seal it in then we're going to go in with those pages using the same brown paint and i just thought to myself that it would look really cool if the pages were a different color and not um it doesn't have to be brown maybe like a dark green or something like that to look spooky as well would look really nice now i'm going to go in with those uh, rub-on transfers and these are the two packs once they when they were new and you can see how pretty they are i really do love the rub-on transfers that dollar tree has out this year they are really nice now i'm gonna go in with that fabric and cut a little square of it off so that way i can add it onto the spine for this black book and i decided to go with a black one with the little bats on top with the moon i thought that was super cute and you can see i even added a little ghost rub-on transfer to the bottom i think that is super adorable and again i'm just using my fingers because it's just a small little area that i'm working on so i do not want to dirty a brush just for this piece 
and once i get that on there and nice and dry i'm going to continue on decorating this up and making it as spooky as can be i just added two little skulls to the front and look how cute and adorable this book is i love it all of these books turned out absolutely adorable and i would love to see your spin on it if you do decorate and diy these books do tag me on instagram all of that information is in my description box below and i would love to see it let me know which one was your favorite don't forget to share this video with your friends and family thank you so much for stopping by today i will see you all on the next one my friend take care god bless bye